and Dove Gray trade. Trim, they will skate from left to right on your screens at home. Bay State, in their visiting Navy uniforms with the yellow trim and white helmets, they'll go from right to left. Puck is down. We are underway here in Danbury. Controlled by the hat tricks off the face off. Down low, it's Westendorf. Try cycling it along for Goodman. Goodman scored his first junior level goal in last weekend's game. And just like that, we're going to have a whistle. And Wesley Westendorf, 18 seconds into the game, is going to sit two minutes for boarding. Well, not exactly the start that the junior hat tricks wanted. Coming into this game, the junior hat tricks are almost right in the middle. 16th overall in their penalty kill. They have given up five goals on 29 times shorthanded. That is a conversion rate of 82.8%. Meanwhile, for the Bay State Bobcats, they come in with a power play just about the same, converting on 19%. That's good for 16th, or check that, 17th overall in the NA3. Here's for Schoen. Gaining the red line and dumping it down deep. Ryan Wojciechowski will chase after it. For Schoen there as well. For Schoen forces the turnover. Given back to the point, it's Harwell. Harwell with it again. Has justice to his left. Instead goes D to D across for For Schoen, who sends it back down. Getting there first is Ogden. Backed up to Hardwell. Now Justice. Nice little move to get around Wojciechowski. Tries going upstairs. That goes off the dome of Nate Hadley and out of play. 9.05 here on the East Coast. And for Mr. Hadley, if he didn't have his coffee this morning, figure that might be a wake-up call as well. 41 seconds gone by on the power play. Doesn't seem like we'll have any music here at the Danbury Arena. That's a shame. Second power play unit of Fogelgren, Kosa up front uh, along with Damon Warren. Here's Kosa from a bad angle, gets deflected over the stick of Frischon and as far as the red line. Here's Fogelgren now regrouping. Three on two, make it a two on one. A uh, shot goes well over the top of the net. Warren missing up high. Frischon throws one towards the cage. That misses as well. Lefkoff looking to clear. Getting there is Carnes. Carnes sends one into the glove of Nate Hadley. And he'll settle in for a face off to his left. Minute and a half gone by in the first. 48 seconds remaining in Bay State's first power play of the morning. Danbury working with a shorter bench than usual. Nate Mastroni. Colby Donovan both unavailable for this game as a deflected shot from the point. Jumps up on Hadley. He slaps it away like Dominic Hoshik. Fogelgren, centering attempt goes off the skates of Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski still battling for it in the Zamboni corner. Warren with the puck in his skates leaves it for Fogelgren. Fogelgren coming out of the corner now. Looking to split the D and loose in front and Hadley got a glove on it. Dylan Weber trying to dig it out. Wojciechowski there as well. He goes behind the cage for Madzi. Cole Madzi does a good job picking his head up, buys himself a bit more time. 15 seconds remaining on the Bay State power play, and now Madzi up ahead for Weber. Check that Madigan. He sends it down deep. Four seconds to go on the power play. Pass goes through the skates of Justice. Boy, with a last name like Justice, I feel like the word play uh, definitely has a higher probability today. We'll see how it goes. Haven't had too much coffee myself yet. Here's Michael Nicholas pinned up against the wall. Nice forecheck being put on him. Oldham goes back down low, intended for Westendorf. Westendorf beaten to the puck. Trying to f file it along a bit further is Rukala. Everybody battling for it. Oldham got the worst of it. Here's Lefkoff at center red. Flipping it back down into the zone. Three minutes gone by here in the first period. Danbury Jr. Hattrick still looking for their first shot on goal. Here's Sanderson. Up ahead, it's Caden Hart. Offsides is called as Hart lost possession of the puck in the neutral zone, regained it in the offensive zone, and, well, you're not allowed to do that. 16.49 to go in the first. Faceoff will be just outside the Danbury zone. 
Nick Rogers, who has had a fantastic start to his season. On the faceoff, one back for Cade Bacon. Flipped up and out of the zone. Rogers manages to pick up Dylan Harbor. Rogers a shot, that's blocked. Harbor making his return to the lineup. He's missed the past few weeks with an injury. The Alaska native I know has been chomping at the bit to get back out there. Now he has his opportunity this morning. This will be the only game this weekend for the Danbury Junior Hattricks. They had a pair of games scheduled against the Long Beach Sharks. First time that those two teams would see each other this season as this puck rolls in on goal. Hadley clamps down. Faceoff will be to his right. But getting back to Long Beach, the games tomorrow and on Sunday have been postponed. They are planned to be rescheduled later on in the season. Of course, Long Beach having their own issues, not being allowed to host games in the state of New York yet. They certainly hope that they can do so shortly. So next game for Danbury will actually be on November the 13th as they take a trip up to Massachusetts and visit the Northeast Generals for the first time. Interesting thing about Danbury's schedule is that they have not played a road game yet. Here's Madigan going back to the point. It's Connor Brown. Brown from the point into the glove of Ron Karate. There's that first shot on goal for Danbury. And they'll get some fresh legs out on the ice. Brandon Koch, Luke Dubay, Wesley Westendorf up front. Connor Lefkoff, Ryan Wojciechowski manning the blue line. It'll be John Kosa who scored in that last game between these two teams on the faceoff, and he wins it back. Flipped off the glass and out of the zone. Now left cough. Had some trouble controlling the puck. Gives it along for Cope, who chips it down deep. Going after this puck and getting there was Easton Hagen. Warren. Doing battle on the half wall along with Westendorf. At the point, Wojciechowski couldn't hold it. Now a two on one developing for the Bobcats. Here's Fogelkren. Nice play by Connor Lefkoff. Taking the puck off of Fogelgren's stick. Shot eventually came in on goal and Hadley steered it aside. Here comes Danbury the other way. Dubay's pass, unable to be controlled by Cope. Dubay then knocks down a clearing attempt. Cope kicks it along further. A centering attempt loose at the blue paint. But the third forward was up high, and the Bobcats are able to clear. Chipping it down deep is Caden Hart. Hadley thought about coming out of it, out of his net. The Zamboni corner had a different idea. Now Ryan Wojciechowski, two on two with Brandon Cope. Offsides is called as Wojciechowski got ahead of his own pass. The faceoff will be in the neutral zone. 14-33 to go in the first period. Neither team's been able to find the back of the net so far. Nobody's noticed the Bay State stick in the zone either. And Cade Bacon, ever the good Samaritan, gives that piece of lumber back to the Bay State bench. And we said it after or during last game, I'm not sure if you can really call them lumber anymore. Not sure if these kids have ever even played with a wooden stick as I proceed to go date myself. Either way, back underway. Here's Dylan Harbor losing possession of the puck. Rogers following up. Harbor will get another opportunity, but it's poked right through his legs by Michael Nicholas. Gallagher sends it down deep. Rogers and Gallagher together. Gallagher, a centering attempt, goes off the stick of Reifelge. Nigro picks it up. Nigro tries sliding one through that forest of legs, but it goes wide. Good keep at the blue line by Gordon Ogden. Ogden only has two assists in the two games between these two teams, but it really seems like the offense, at least from Bay State's blue line, goes through him. Bianco gives back Madsey. Now Dylan Weber. Weber chipping one off the boards. Bepko leaves it for him. Weber a bit further along. He has Cummings with him. One hand on his stick. Cummings couldn't get to it. Connor Brown. Sends down behind the net, out of the reach of Madigan. Through the neutral zone and into Danbury's end comes Rukala. He sends one on goal into the glove of Nate Hadley. And the faceoff will be to Hadley's right. 
13.09 to go in the first period. Bay State currently out shooting Danbury by a 6-2 margin. Nick Rogers on the defensive zone draw, he wins it. Chipping it along behind the net, Dubay run into by Austin Rock. Now Rogers again. Seven minutes, or rather over seven minutes gone by in the first. Here is Rogers from top of the circle, his shot easily steered aside by Ron Karate. Junior hat tricks have seemingly found that area between the top and the circle and the blue line as a favored scoring area. Kyle Madigan has scored twice from there. Colby Donovan with one, Nick Rogers with one. It's not exactly the way a coaching staff would normally pull things up, but when the puck finds the back of the net, you can't be too angry about it. Here's left call. He'll loft one through the neutral zone. Dubay thought about it, instead goes off for an obedient change. Bay State will do the same as Connor Lefkoff does it all over again in the far corner. Lefkoff this time will keep it himself. Applying pressure with John Kosa, he forces a turnover. Lefkoff holding the blue line, keeps it in the zone. Now Lefkoff stepping towards the top of the slot, looking for a shooting lane. Takes his shot, it gets deflected out of play. And the faceoff will remain in the Bay State zone. 11.54 to go in the first period. Thank you again for tuning on in right here on Hockey TV. Quarter after nine on the East Coast. I'm glad that you can spend your mornings here with us. Madigan, Weber, Cummings. On the ice for Danbury, John Kosa on the draw for Bay State and a very easy win for Mr. Kosa. Warren, puck on his backhand, reverses behind the cage out of the reach of Weber. Fogelgren was waiting for it. Cummings gave him some trouble. Now Weber involved once again. Here's Cummings. Off the boards, off the stick of Weber. Weber gives long further for Madigan. Madigan hits the zone, tries giving back to Weber. Madigan now pinned up along the far side to all. Carnes applying the pressure. Madsey in there for Danbury, trying to turn it over. He does. Oldham goes back to Weber. Now Brown. Brown on goal gets deflected by Warren. Madigan behind the cage. He feeds Madsey a shot. Great save, Ron Karate. It's loose. Somewhere on the side of the cage, everybody poking at it. Finally, it's under Zach Roncarati. And with nine minutes gone by in the first period, Roncarati, another highlight reel save. My goodness, he got it with his left heel. My, oh my, Zach Roncarati. Played last year with the New England Knights. This year, applying his trade with Bay State, and boy, are they happy they have him. Bacon can't hold the blue line, chasing after his Wojciechowski. Caden Hart knocked off of his stick, a centering attempt, they score! Jay Grucala, one nothing Bay State. A defensive zone breakdown by Danbury. As Wojciechowski followed the puck into the corner with Caden Hart. Third man for Bay State. Picked it up on the sidewall and the entire time. Jake Rucala was open in front of the net. Nothing that Nate Hadley can do as that gets one times through his five hole. And with 10.49 to go in the first period, the Bay State Bobcats hold a one nothing lead. Looking for more are the Bay Staters. Left call from behind his own cage. Off the stick of Rogers and sent right back into the Danbury zone. Connor left call again. His pass goes through the stick of Bianco. Left call in the corner. Hart falls down. Reifelge is there as well. Physical play starting to pick up. Chipped through the zone, off the stick of Dylan Harbor. Cole Madsey chasing after it, too far out of his reach. This should be icing against Bay State, and it is as they try and sneak a couple extra players out onto the ice. Referee keeping an eye, an eye on it. 
I think Gallagher might get away with it. And considering, oh no, Gallagher was the sixth man on the ice. Nice job by the officiating crew to figure that out. Here's Sanderson on the draw for base state against Roger. Sanderson wins it along for Hart. Hart chips it out. Wojciechowski right in front of the base state bench gives it for Brandon Cope. Brown deflected in by Westendorf. Here's Hart along the wall for Reifelsch. Reifelsch unable to clear. Wojciechowski a rising shot, and that went off the knee of Caden Hart and out of play. Hart doesn't seem any worse the wear. Faceoff will be to Zach Roncarati's left. 10-15, or check that, 10-15. Gone by now in the first. Bay State leading at 1-0. Rodgers on another offensive zone draw. Wins it back to Cope. Cope takes the shot, but well blocked by Gallagher. Here's Cope again, trying to get around for Schoen. Now Nick Rodgers tries kicking the puck up to his stick just a bit far. Cade Bacon from the point, that's blocked as well. And Bay State's doing a fantastic job of getting into the shooting lanes early on here. Here's Lefkoff from the point. That pinball's in front of the cage. Roncarati saw it the entire way. And Frischon is able to clear. Out of the reach of Gallagher. Bacon back in his position. Wraps it around but cut off by Troy Harwell. Bacon recovers. Harwell picks his pocket from behind. Pass was out of the reach of Austin Rock. Rock along for Skinner. Madigan fresh off the bench, slings it back into the Bay State zone. Under nine minutes to go here in the first. Through the neutral zone, it's Connor Lefkoff. Pass too far for Madigan as both teams just seem to be throwing the puck around at this point. Skinner for Rock. Turned over, Weber had to wait for Madigan to touch up, so he sends it down deep. Here's Rock, Cummings coming in, in with the body. Picked up, Weber a shot, saved by Roncarati, it's loose, and Roncarati has it in his blocker hand. 8.20 to go in the first, one nothing your score. Nice job by Dylan Weber picking up the puck and realizing where he was on the ice. Putting some elevation on that shot. But Ron Karate was ready for it. Oh, ten pairs of fresh legs on the ice. Five for each team, so we hope. John Kosa, Nick Rogers on this draw. One by Rogers. Back for Cope. Cope sends it down deep. Puck rides the rail on top of the boards. And so it goes past Dubay. Here's Wojciechowski, his pass too far for Cope. Carnes, now Connor Brown from the neutral zone. Brown will send it into the near side corner. Not much of a four check and so an easy clear for Frischone. Now here comes Kosa, Warren off sides. Face off will be in the neutral zone. Coaches always tell you no stick handling within five feet of the blue line. Doesn't matter what side of the blue line it is, you shouldn't be futzing around with the puck up there and well that's the reason why as John Kosa if he had stayed in his lane would have been onside instead he draws his teammate Damon Warren off that goes off the bottom of one of the luxury suites here at Danbury Arena luxury suites were renovated prior to the beginning of last season and actually the very first NA3HL game played here in Danbury was shot from that construction zone. It was interesting. Here's Cole Madsey. Cade Bacon. Cummings. A bit too far for Jake Oldham. Now Bacon again. Harwell providing pressure, forces a turnover. Skinner gives back Harwell. Now it's in the skates of Skinner. Throwing the body is Westendorf. Skinner still managing to hold on to the puck. Now three junior hat tricks trying to poke it out. Zach Justice giving a little help as well. And Justice sends it into the far corner. Goodman for Madsey. Oldham. And Oldham happy just to get the puck over the blue line. Here's Jake Oldham once again. 
As an option on the far side, sniffed out by Carnes. Carnes sends it into a Danbury zone with under seven to play in the first period. Icing will be called against the junior hat tricks. They cannot change. And they'll need a moment to talk things over as Danbury having some real difficulty getting out of their own end. 6.50 to go in the first, one nothing your score. James Sanderson on the draw for Bay State has Caden Hart in the shooter's position. Won it back, but passed Hart, so Ogden from the blue line sends one behind the net. Here's Cole Madsey. Getting around the forecheck of Hart. Madsey then just simply flips it out of the zone. Madsey did a good job on that breakout as he managed to draw all three Bay State forwards down below the goal line, but Unable to take advantage of it. Unable to hold the blue line is Rukala. Danbury finally able to get some fresh legs out on the ice as it's George Carnes. His pass out of the reach of Rukala. This should be icing. And there's the whistle as Ryan Wojciechowski touches up. 6-10 to go in the first. We'll see what the line of Madigan, Cummings, and Weber can put together for Danbury as Danbury still only officially has three shots on goal in this first period with almost six minutes to go. Weber on the draw. 50-50, it goes back to the point. Wojciechowski, DDD across for Lefkoff. Lefkoff a shot kicked aside by Ron Karate. Rukala sent far side, poked by Lefkoff. Hart gets it a bit further. Lefkoff can't clear it out of the zone as Sanderson applies the offensive pressure. Now Ryan Wojciechowski looking for an option. Didn't see anything he likes, so he flips it over far side. Kyle Madigan waits for it. Madigan sends it down. Cummings on the four check. Together with Nicholas. Nicholas was able to kick it along the sidewall. Warren sends it out. Now Lefkoff. Quickly up ahead for Kyle Madigan, but Madigan off sides, and the faceoff will come out into the neutral zone. Junior Hattricks need to work on being a bit more opportunistic. We just spoke about Cole Madsey doing a good job of drawing the Bay State four checkers below the goal line. Theoretically, that should give you an advantage getting out of the zone, and as we just saw, Kyle Madigan doing a good job posting up on the blue line. He just went in off sides. Here's Brandon Cope, two on two over the red line. He's got Luke Dubé with him. Dubé driving towards the net. Cope a shot, saved by Ron Karate, and he'll hold on. Well, Brandon Cope, a left-handed shot, was coming down the left-hand side. Luke Dubé doing what every forward should do, crashing the net, and Cope was able to use him as a bit of a screen. Putting a shot up high, Ron Karate a bit handcuffed on it, but he still makes the save. Nick Frischone off the glass, punched in by Connor Brown. You can't do that. Faceoff will be out in the neutral zone. 5.13 to go in the first. Bay State with 11 shots on goal to Danbury's four now. It'll be Rogers on the draw. And off the draw. Brandon Cope sends it into the Bay State zone. Austin Rock just as quickly sends it out. Bacon's pass to nobody in particular. Cut off by Frischone. He'll send it down deep. Six foot five, Cade Bacon gaining speed through the neutral zone. Poked off of his stick by Austin Rock. Rock then takes a big hit from Nick Rogers. And Stanbury's looking for a spark. For Schoen. Dylan Harbor gets there first for Danbury. Tries feeding it back for Aiden Bepko. Bepko knocked down to the ice. Getting high sticked was Jake Rukala. And he's hurt. The training staff here at the Danbury Arena immediately taking a look at him as it looks like he caught an inadvertent stick up high. No penalty on the play, and so we'll keep our eyes on the lone goal scorer of today's game and when he makes his way back to the Bay State bench. 4.28 to go in the first. 
Another offensive zone opportunity for the junior hat tricks. They'll need to get possession on the puck as this is Easton Hagen sending it around the boards. Lefkoff holds it at the blue line. Lefkoff, a rising shot, punched aside by Ron Karate. And then a puck deflects between the two Danbury defensemen as far as the blue line. Now Aiden Bepko. Off the boards, taken over, and going the other way is Zach Justice. He drops off for Harwell. Harwell a shot saved by Hadley, and he'll hold on. Harwell looking to go a five hole on Nate Hadley. And Hadley with his stick in the right position. Puck actually bounced up on him. I think it went off his chin, and if it did, that's the second time that Hadley's taken one off the dome in about 16 minutes of game time. Dylan Weber, a clean face-off win. Troy Harwell and Ryan Wojciechowski come together. Here's Dylan Weber with it again. Tipped along Madigan, and now Cummings. Chase Cummings, lost possession of the puck. Weber trying to regain it on the far half wall. At the point, it's Bacon. Given back for Weber. Weber leaves it for Wojciechowski, sniffed out by Ian Skinner. Skinner had an idea of a breakaway, but a nice job by Bacon getting back into position. Cummings. Manages to send the puck behind the net. Looking for a penalty and not getting one is Easton Hagen. Easton Hagen and Kyle Madigan still jawing at each other behind the play. You know, back in the Danbury zone, it's Dylan Weber wrapping one around the far side. Madigan is there. Three to go in the first. Madigan tripped up on the play looking for a penalty. There's none to be had. Here's Kosa. Given back for Nicholas. D to D across for Ogden. Ogden gets around 1 4 checker. Can't get around Jake Oldham. And Drew Goodman, fresh off the bench. Gives along for Cummings. Nicholas in the far corner. Jake Oldham doing some work trying to clear the puck out. Goodman there. At the point, it's left off. He'll wind and fire, and that's blocked before it ever made its way through. Nice shot by Ogden getting in the way. Javon Fogelgren going the other way with 2.15 to go in the first. Fogelgren sent into the boards by Mads. He manages to keep possession of the puck. Gives back to Freshona at the point. Freshona's shot didn't miss by much. Here's Ogden a one-timer into the glove of Nate Hadley. And Hadley will hold on for a faceoff to his right with 2.05 to go in the first period. Well, you're certainly seeing the physical play between these two teams. Only one penalty so far as these teams have certainly given each other plenty of times <laughs> with the special teams in their previous two games. Perhaps the early start time here has kind of mellowed them out. Probably not, but we'll see. Brandon Cope and John Cosa on the draw, a pair of sevens. Faceoff was won by Cope. Dubé sends it all the way down. No icing on the play. So for Schoen from behind his own goal line. Along the boards, Dubé cuts that off. Sends one towards goal. Austin Rock takes the puck away. Rock goes along for Frischone and now further along Warren. Pinching in from the point is Madsy. Bay State didn't like the near side. They'll try the far side, but they'll have to try it with a face off into the neutral zone as that puck deflects off the stick of Brandon Cope and out of play. 99 seconds to go now in the first. Face off in the neutral zone. It'll be Rodgers for Danbury, Ian Skinner for Bay State. Rodgers with the win, sending it down into the Bay State zone. Carnes collects, gives along for Fashone. This ends up in the midsection of Ian Skinner and turned over. Brandon Cope, a quick shot, kicked aside by Ron Karate. Rodgers tried to go through three Bay State defenders. Passed in front, sticked aside by Ron Karate. Now here comes Troy Harwell to the outside. Harwell with speed, hits the post with the shot, and it goes out of play. Great hustle shown by Troy Harwell, who has three goals in two games against Danbury already. That was nearly number four. He beat Hadley to the glove side, but rang the iron and sent it into section 208. 
112 to go now in the first period. Here's Bacon softly along far side for Kyle Madigan. Madigan off the boards. This should be icing as Hagen did not get a stick on it. There's the whistle. Cummings comes together with Ogden, but they are able to separate on their own accord. So now an even minute remaining in the first period. Another defensive zone faceoff for the junior hat tricks. Madigan will take this draw against Zach Justice. Check that Weber now steps in. Weber wins it. Reversed blindly. Ian Skinner is there. Madigan able to pick his pocket but unable to clear of his own. Nice job by Nick Frischone to hold the line. Shot on goal. Saved by Hadley. He holds on. Puck just seems to find Troy Harwell of the Bay State Bobcats. It's the mark of a good player, and Troy Harwell leads the way for Bay State. In six games, seven points. That's good. John Kosa steps in for this draw. Dylan Weber wants to take the face off. I think he's going to be kicked out of the dot. He will be, and so Ryan Wojciechowski will step in. Well, not every day you see the defenseman win a face-off forward like that, but now you did. Offsides against Danbury as Kyle Madigan was on the wrong side of the blue line. 37.8 to go in the first. You know, the junior hat tricks would love to get a goal and tie this up before the intermission. Here's Weber. No hand pass on the play as Bay State managed to get a stick on it. Wojciechowski, or check that left cough, cuts down the pass. He finds Brandon Cope on the near side with 20 seconds to go. Cope a shot. It's loose. They score! Dylan Weber! And we're tied at one. Dylan Weber wears a letter A on his jersey. He is one of the leaders of this team. And you see why there. Finally, the Danbury defense is able to pick their head up. They find Brandon Cope wide open on the near side. The initial shot was a good one. It gave Zach Roncarati plenty of trouble. The puck was loose in the crease. We talked earlier in this period about crashing the net. That's what Dylan Weber did, and he's rewarded with the goal. Six seconds to go in the first period. Kyle Madigan comes up high on a check. Everybody coming together in front of the Bay State bench. And let's see what calls come out of this. Troy Harwell gave a shot up high to Madigan. The initial penalty is against Danbury. Madigan has certainly ingratiated himself with the Bay State bench. And it looks like Madigan will be the only player to get into the penalty box here. So 2.2 seconds to go. And Danbury will, barring a very, very, very fast goal by Bay State, will begin the second period on the penalty kill. Madigan going to the wrong penalty box. As for the first time this season, the Danbury Junior Hattricks are on the home team pro bench. One of the, Again, we've spoken about the quirks here at Danbury Arena, but... For whatever reason, the pro team would use one bench. The NA3 team would use the other bench. But now, seems like everybody's using the same side of things. 0.4 seconds to go as the clock ran just a bit after the whistle blew. Clean face-off win by Wesley Westendorf will finish the first. So at the end of one, it's base up front for Bay State as they skate from left to right on your screens at home and we're underway. Interesting note about Jake Rucala. Last year he played in the GMHL with the Niagara Whalers. Two goals, three assists in 35 games. But the year prior to that, he was here in the NA3HL with the Niagara Hall. They score! Troy Harwell. A power play goal and it's two to one. 
Oh, if you're Bay State, that's how you draw up the four check. Force a turnover, Harwell the third man in. And not even 26 seconds into this second period, the Bobcats have regained their lead. Finishing up with Rukala, played in the 18-19 season with Niagara, Hall's, uh, Niagara Falls Power Hawks. The Power Hawks at the end of that season moved here to Danbury. They're now known as the Danbury Junior Hattricks. For Harwell, it is his seventh goal of the season, his fourth goal against Danbury in three games. And now the junior hat tricks look to respond once again. It was Dylan Weber who answered back the first time. Who will it be the second time? At the point, it's Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski, his shot blocked down. It's in the skates of Dubé. And then following up on that, taking the shot was Jake Oldham. Zach Roncarati is able to clear it out. Well, Dubé picked up the puck in a prime scoring position. He just didn't realize where it was. Wojciechowski, D to D for Madzi. Madzi with a pair of four checkers on him, just chips it off the glass. It nearly was kept in the zone by Zach Justice. Now Justice will break in once again, lost possession of the puck. Wojciechowski along for Rogers, not out. Shot from the point, saved by Hadley. And the Hattricks are able to clear. Here's Kyle Madigan. Madigan top of the circle. His shot saved by Roncarati. Nice shot selection by Kyle Madigan as he generates a rebound right in the slot. Madigan still involved in the play, trying to get around Skinner. Takes it off the stick of Justice. For Schoen, can't hold the blue line. And the faceoff will come out into a neutral zone. So 151 now gone by in the second. Two to one your score, Bay State with the lead. Justice will stay on the ice along with Harwell and Skinner. The presumed first line for Bay State. Dylan Weber, Kyle Madigan, and Luke Cummings on the ice, or check that, Chase Cummings on the ice for Danbury. Pass from Lefkoff too far for Cummings to handle. No icing on the play, so for Schoen. Goes D to D across for Rock. Back up at the point, it's Connor Lefkoff. Lefkoff a shot, saved by Ron Karate. Weber picks up the rebound in the corner, gives back to Lefkoff, another shot, and that one is deflected by Cummings out of play. I like the idea by Chase Cummings. Did a good job taking the eyes away of the goaltender, Zach Roncarati. But Cummings, unfortunately, sends it out of play. Faceoff's going to remain in the Bay State zone. It'll be Drew Goodman, Wesley Westendorf, and Jake Oldham up front now for the home team. Off the draw, Caden Hart picks it up. Hart chips one past Cade Bacon. Further along is Jake Rukala. First time that we've seen him on the ice since he took a shot up high. Carnes fans on a shot from the point. Goodman pokes it along for Jake Oldham. Oldham to the outside, picks up Goodman once again. Sent it towards the front of a net. Roncarati's able to stick it away. Hagen reverses over far side. Wojciechowski pinching in. Gives along Goodman. Goodman with a little space. Goodman a shot. Deflected wide. Wrapped around the boards. Cade Bacon at the blue line. His shot gets blocked by Sanderson. Now Carnes. Along for Rukala. Rukala's pass was behind Caden Hart. Goodman's able to take it away. He then turns it over and breaks a stick in the process. Bacon gets it as far as Carnes and the new Fairfield Bank logo in the neutral zone. Chipped along for Brandon Cope. Cope sends it into the near side Zamboni corner and for checking on down is Ryan Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski unable to pick it up. Troy Harwell in the neutral zone. Knocked off his stick, Skinner in pursuit, but Wojciechowski directs it along further for Rogers. Now two on two through the neutral zone. Nice job by Michael Nicholas knocking it off of Nick Rogers' stick. Here's Zach Justice. Too far for him, and so it'll be Madzi. Madzi tried reversing. Harwell slapped that away. Dubé in the far corner. Goes hard off the boards. Too far for Brandon Cope. Cope manages to get it out of the skates of Nicholas, chipping it into a neutral zone. Skinner misplays it. Now here comes Dubé, a shot. Kicked aside by Roncarati. 
Harwell gets the puck out of the zone. Rogers comes up high on Zach Justice. No call there. Rogers now with the puck. Given along for Cope. He'll slide that around the roulette wheel. Bianco fresh off the bench. Tripped up by Nicholas. And we have a whistle. Let's see what the penalty is. It's going to be a hooking call. And I believe it'll be Michael Nicholas going to the penalty box. And it will be. So we get to see Danbury's power play. As <laughs> referee figures out where the broken lumber goes, but either way. So Danbury on the power play. 15-31 to go here in the second. And off the draw, it's controlled by the hat tricks. Here's Brandon Cope, top of the circle. His shot flutters over the net. Madigan picks it up. Takes a whack from, Sh from Fashone. Holds on to the puck. Lefkoff gives back to Cope. Cope, now Lefkoff. Shot, deflected, save. Rebound, Roncarati makes another beautiful save. Cole Madzi with it. Everybody calling for the puck. It's Brandon Cope who comes up with it. Cope, back for Madzi. Quickly on goal, shot, save. The rebound just poked off the stick of Brandon Cope by Nick Frischone and cleared out of the zone. Best power play that we've seen out of the Danbury Junior hat trick so far. 40 seconds has elapsed off the power play. Here's Connor Lefkoff again. The defenseman sends it down into the corner, picks it up himself. Lefkoff still under pressure. And just to keep possession of the puck, he has an option in Brandon Cope. Pass was too far, and Skinner easily clears it on down. 55 to go in the power play. Hadley out of his net, wraps it around for Cope. Delayed icing coming up against Danbury. There's the whistle, and the faceoff will come back down into the hat trick's end. 44 seconds to go in Danbury's power play. They've already generated a couple shots on goal. They'd love to find the back of the net and tie this up once again. Danbury ranked 19th overall in the NA3HL, converting on 17.2% of their power plays. Meanwhile, for the Bay State Bobcats, they've only killed off 61.5% of their penalties, so a good opportunity for Danbury to try and find the back in the net, and we saw them have some success doing so earlier on this man advantage. Lefkoff goes back to Cope at the co point. Cope a shot, rebound, and then Dylan Weber gets robbed by Zach Roncarati. Holy jumping, are you kidding me? What a save. Two on two the other way come the Bobcats. Javon Fogelgren tries cutting towards the front of the net, stolen away by Brandon Cope. Cope coming back the other way with five seconds to go on the power play. Cope. Leaned on from behind, lost possession of the puck, no icing on the play. Boy, Zach Roncarati, what a beautiful save, but that's the second time that he has absolutely robbed Dylan Weber. Weber with the first goal, I suppose Roncarati thought they were even, only for a moment. What a save, shades of Braden Holtby. And the stick save against Vegas a couple Stanley Cups ago. Here's Troy Harwell. Tries going down low for Justice. Good to see Zach Justice back out there after he was shaken up after his last shift. Jake Oldham comes together with Ogden. Ogden manages to keep the puck in the zone. Skinner. Ogden behind the net. Wojciechowski will chase. Sending it up the boards but not out. Kept alive. Justice knocked off the puck by Westendorf. Wojciechowski around the boards, but not out. Wojciechowski this time losing a stick behind the cage. Coming up with it is Justice. He goes back to Ogden at the point and then deflected on goal by John Costa, but wide. Here's Harwell, a centering attempt. Getting in the way of that was Jake Oldham. Goodman flips this into the Bay State zone. Icing is called as... Drew Goodman had not gained the red line yet. Now Wojciechowski and Harwell come together 
at the red line. Everybody else coming together. Can only imagine what they're discussing down there. Not like there's much going on in the world. Kyle Madigan, no surprise, he's in the center of things as well. Let's see what penalties we get out of this. Easton Hagen will go to the box for Bay State. And it looks like Kyle Madigan's going to make his way back to the penalty box for Danbury. He disagrees with the call, but his protests will fall upon deaf ears. 12.07 to go in the second period. Looks like we'll remain five aside. Madigan still discussing things with the referee. Easton Hagen chirping from the penalty box as well. Two minutes has gone up on the board for both teams, but they've got five skaters out on the ice, and, well, that doesn't make sense. It looks like they'll figure it out. We'll skate four aside. And you might have heard that at home, the referee saying, told your captains, it's four on four. And four on four it is. 12.07 to go in the second. Westendorf on a defensive zone faceoff, tries forcing it up along the near side wall. Goodman chasing after it. He manages to take out Rock. Westendorf now out of nowhere gets tripped, or rather slashed from behind. Or call it a hook. Either way, it results in another Danbury power play. And we'll skate four on three for a minute and 45 seconds. Lots of open ice. Expect to see the speedsters out there. It will be Cope, Madsey, Lefkoff, and Weber. All veterans for Danbury. Troy Harwell, Nick Frischone, George Carnes for Bay State. And a timeout called by Danbury. So they'll talk things over. You get a good look at the puck on your screens at home. Looks like a puck. But... Besides just the saves that Zach Roncarati has managed to pull out of a hat once again. This is an important point in this game. 11.52 remains in the second. We're almost halfway through. The junior hat tricks have had some real difficulty getting anything consistently going offensively. Their goal came with 18 seconds remaining in the first period. It came off of a rebound. Bay State's played a very solid game so far. You see Nate Hadley now on your screens at home. He's hoping he doesn't see the puck for the next few minutes. We'll see how accurate that turns out to be. But again, almost halfway through this game, Bay State holds the one goal lead. They got that lead early on in this game. And now you're trusting your veterans. You're trusting Brandon Cope, Dylan Weber, Connor Lefkoff, Cole Madsey. You're trusting them to carry the weight. These guys have played together for over a season. Let's see what they can put together. It will be Dylan Weber and Troy Harwell to start us off on the faceoff. 50-50 draws, won by Harwell, and for Schoen clears it all the way down. Now Danbury can use their speed. Here's Connor Lefkoff. He's got some wheels himself. Hits the blue line, stops. Danbury sets up, and they're four on three power play. It's Cole Madsey along for Cope, back to Lefkoff. Dylan Weber in front of the net. Lefkoff for Cope, a one-timer, he missed wide. Lefkoff picks the puck up at the blue line, gives along for Cope. Cope stepping in, thought about the shot, gives back. Shot re uh, rather deflected in front by Weber and wide. Lefkoff for Cope. Madsy now. Madsy is shot into the shoulder of Weber. And Ron Karate picks up the loose puck and holds on for a faceoff. Minute gone by on this four on three opportunity for Danbury. In order to check that, 45 seconds gone by on the four on three. A minute remains in it. Danbury will keep the same legs out there. Javon Fogelgren 
will replace Troy Harwell, defenseman the same for Bay State. Weber off the draw, sends it into the corner. For Schoen looking to clear, kept alive by Lefkoff. Now Brandon Cope. Top of the circle, they'll set up once again. Here's Lefkoff. Madzi. Fanned on the pass, recollects. Madzi again. Drops off for Lefkoff. 40 seconds to go with this four on three opportunity. Here's Brandon Cope again. Chipped along Lefkoff. Left off a shot, saved the rebound, they score! Cole Madzi, a power play goal, and we're tied at two. For Madzi, it's his second goal of the season. Not much that, that Zach Roncarati can do. He made the initial save, put the rebound into an empty area, but Cole Madsey knew that's where it was coming. And he drills one home to tie it up. Seems like we have a question on who actually comes out of the penalty box. It should be John Cosa. Still trying to figure this out. So it's a coincidental penalty between Kyle Madigan, or yeah, between Kyle Madigan and well, Easton Hagen. Those two should remain in the box. Kosa should be released as it was his penalty that caused the four on three power play. I'm not sure if they're gonna get this one right. Hagen has Gone back to the scores table and, well. Rare that you see some confusion like this. Bay State would certainly like to have Easton Hagen back as they're short of defensemen right now. Anthony Bone on the Danbury bench would like a, a bit of an explanation. Anthony Bone was hired over the summer as the head coach of the Federal Hockey League's Danbury Hattricks, replacing their previous coach, Billy McCreary. McCreary was the FPHL Coach of the Year. He's now coaching the NAHL Danbury Junior Hattricks. So, nice little coaching carousel over the summer and Bone subbing in today on the NA3HL Danbury Junior Hattricks bench. Kosa remains in the box for Bay State. Dubay looking to clear it out for Danbury. His pass Eventually finds its way to Ryan Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski chips it along back for Dubay. Picked up by Rogers. A shot. He ripped it wide. Penalty has expired for Kyle Madigan. Technically, this is a Danbury power play. It should not be. Sent just wide. Cade Bacon at the sidewall. His shot in and out of the glove of Roncarati. Troy Harwell picks it up. Zach Justice into the Danbury zone. Kosa. Tries finding Harwell on the far post and then the net gets rotated about 50 degrees from where it should be. So what just happened there, because the officials got the initial uh, player out of the box wrong, when Madigan's penalty expired, he came out of the box. Kosa remained in the box for Danbury. So uh, technically, Danbury had a 15 second power play that they should not have had. Well, no harm, no foul. We're back up to five aside hockey with 9.42 to go in the second period. Going to tie game at 2-2. Two to two. Harwell on the draw against Rogers. Wojciechowski in to help out. Goes behind the net for Bacon, who helps it along further for Madigan. Now Bacon again. Dubé tries giving it back to Rogers. He picks it up off the stick of Skinner, but quickly gets it knocked away by Ogden. Back the other way, here's Troy Harwell. 
Harwell broke his stick on the shot. Now Bay State with too many men on the ice, and the linesman sniffs that out real quick. Danbury's go about to go on to, we're going to say their third power play of the period, and that's just a problem of communication on the Bay State bench. As Troy Harwell had broken his stick, you might have heard it at home yelling stick, stick, stick. Instead, he decided to go to the bench, Javon Fogelgren, who will serve this penalty, replaced him. Then Harwell got a stick and stayed on the ice. And the worst part is they did it all right in front of the referee. So 9.13 to go in the second. Danbury on their third power play of the game. They are one for two so far. Off the draw, Madigan scores! Kyle Madigan, a power play goal! 3-2, Danbury. It's a bit of a set play, but a good job by Kyle Madigan, realizing that the centers had tied up with each other, and he just lasers one through the five hole of Zach Roncarati perhaps catching him by surprise. For Madigan, it is his fourth goal of the season, and the junior hat-tricks finally hold a lead in this game. It's three to two. Looking for more, Cummings goes behind the net for Cope. Cope tried reversing it back. Behind the cage again, it's Nick Frischone. Reversed off the skates of Rock, Troy Harwell chipping it along for Ian Skinner. Dylan Weber will chase after this with Skinner in pursuit. Weber leaves it in the corner. Cole Madsey off the glass, not out of the zone. Kept alive by Austin Rock. Here's Troy Harwell. Pass knocked away by Bacon. Cope can't control, and so for Schoen, sends over far side, and Harwell will dump it back down deep. Cade Bacon in the near side corner. Now Brandon Cope, Sanderson all over him. Sanderson will come up with the puck. He finds Harwell a shot. That gets deflected over the top of the cage. Hard off the boards, off the stick of Frischone. Back for Sanderson. Sanderson manages to get around Weber. Trying to get around Cade Bacon as well. He does. Sanderson, a centering attempt. Loose in front of the net. Hadley gets a glove on it. The puck immediately pops out after the whistle is blown. Troy Harwell with some more words for... The orange and gray. But no penalties will arise out of this. Faceoff will be to Nate Hadley's left. Off the draw, Westendorf tried winning it for Goodman. Now Westendorf behind his own cage. Off the stick of Oldham, not out of the zone. Kept alive. At the blue line by Easton Hagen. Westendorf off the boards around Hagen. Two on one into the zone. Westendorf falls down at the blue line. And Bay State's able to clear. Boy, the turf monster reached up and got him. Here's Jake Rukala, who had the first goal in this game. Poked off of his stick by Wojciechowski. Loose puck, Connor Brown. Far side for Goodman, who directs it back into the Bay State zone. Icing is called as Goodman was short of the red line. So we'll have another draw back in the Danbury end with 7.22 to go in the second period. A pair of goals on the power play in this period. Kyle Madigan and Cole Madsey, the difference right now in this game. Westendorf, Kosa on the draw. Westendorf trying to bully Kosa out of the dot. Deflected wide by Fogelgren. Danbury looking for a high stick call, but it's not happening. Here's Kosa in the corner. Fogelgren as well. Right in the middle of it is Westendorf for Danbury. Up along the boards, Oldham's able to clear. Oldham sends a pass off the stick of Goodman. Goodman now by himself as the rest of his teammates are changing. Goodman in the corner. Rogers fresh off the bench. Madsy at the blue line. Sent back down deep. 
Rogers will chase after it, as will Bianco. Bianco manages to free the puck up. At the point, it's Madsy. Madsy will send it down deep. He'll chase after it himself. Getting there first is Ogden. Rogers forces a turnover. Rogers a shot in and out of the glove of Roncarati. And he's able to jump on top of it for the whistle. The Danbury Jr. Hattricks defenseman, they certainly enjoy being activated off of that blue line. You saw Cole Madsy not only keep the puck in the zone, but then he chased it down behind the goal line. Turned into a decent opportunity. Rogers, Bianco, and Harbor up front for Danbury. Troy Harwell, no surprise on the draw for Bay State. Shot from the point, gets deflected into the Zamboni corner near side. Now Rogers cycles back up Madsy, D to D, Lefkoff. Lefkoff thought about the shot, still thinking about it. Lost the shooting lane, so he lofts it behind the net. Rogers there for Danbury. Doing battle with Skinner. Rock there as well. Bianco simply out muscling Austin Rock. And then Connor Lefkoff tried going D to D across from Madsy, but fanned on the pass. So now it's Lefkoff up for Dylan Harbor. The Alaskan gives back to Lefkoff at the red line. Lefkoff with a shot gets deflected by Rock, and that one kind of confused Ron Karate. He's able to punch it aside. Along the boards, here's Justice. Zach Justice taken down from behind, no call coming. Ian Skinner trying to fight his way through three junior hat tricks. Skinner takes out Lefkoff, and let's see what call this is. Interference will be the call. I'm not sure who it's going against. It might go against Danbury, as Ian Skinner blew a tire, but the Bobcats will come away with the advantage. And more importantly for Danbury, it's going to be Connor Lefkoff going to the penalty box. So 5.28 to go in the second. Bay State will now go on to their third power play of the morning. They are 0 for 2 so far. Now they have an opportunity to try and tie things up via the special teams, the same way Danbury took the lead earlier in this period. For shown at the point, stand up block. Nice job, Wesley Westendorf. Here's Zach Justice, has Kosa with him. Justice in, a backhander off the side of the cage. Kosa leaving it for Ogden. Bacon fell down on the play, took Ogden with him, forces a turnover, and it's cleared all the way down. 30 seconds gone by on the power play. Here's Nick Frischone. Dropping off for John Kosa, and Kosa can fly. He gives a long for Justice. Justice into the zone, he'll wrap it around the boards. John Kosa is there. Kosa, centering attempt turned over. Brandon Cope picks it up. Cope at the end of his shift, simply sends it down the ice. And then sending it out of play is Zach Roncarati. Not sure if this, no, it won't result in a penalty. As Roncarati goes pleading his case to the referee. Bay State tried to sneak in a line change. You can't do that at this level when your goaltender sends it out of play. So faceoff's going to be down in the Bay State zone. Referee will have to figure out who was on the ice for the Bobcats. For Danbury, looks like it's going to be Luke Dubay and Dylan Weber up front with Connor Brown and Cole Madsey on the point. And check that, it'll be Wojciechowski and Madsey instead. Faceoff still needs to come down into the Bay State zone. Bobcats have six players on the ice and now going to the penalty box is Jake Rukala once again. And we'll keep our eyes on the official score sheet. Don't have a public address announcer right now, but I, if I had to guess I'm willing to bet that Bay State just picked up a bench minor for trying to change players once again. It's not the first time that they have done that against Danbury. It's not the first time that they've done that in this game. And perhaps the referee finally getting sick of it. So four on four for another 55 seconds. Then Danbury will go on to their fourth power play. Technically their fifth, but we're not going to talk about that. 
Javon Fogelgren, one on four into the Danbury zone. His shot slid away by Hadley. Harwell off the bench, lost it. Now here comes Dylan Weber on a breakaway. Dylan Weber in, saved by Roncarati. Luke Dubay on the follow through, managed to knock down the clearing attempt. Now Dubay gives it along for Wojciechowski. Across the slot for Madigan, but off the heel of his stick. Cole Madsey. Happy to let more time tick away. Danbury's 10 seconds away from the power play. Madigan goes back for Cope. Two seconds and one. And now the hat tricks officially have the man advantage with 3.25 to go in the second period. Here's Brandon Cope with speed. Cope driving to the outside backhand shot. Didn't miss by much. Madigan picks it up. Gives to Lefkoff. Lefkoff on goal. Ron Karate steers it into the corner. Cade Bacon. That one takes an interesting bounce off the Zamboni doors. Rolls in on goal. Ron Karate makes the save. And then Kyle Madigan with a little stick handling in the blue paint. Not sure what he's attempting to accomplish there. I can guess. But either way, 3.05 to go in the second. 28 seconds to go in Danbury's power play. Officially on the scoreboard here, they have... The penalty against number 30, Zach Roncarati for Bay State. Not sure why or how that would be. You know, loose puck in front of net. Westendorf spinning down from his knees, sends it on goal. Roncarati shut the door. Here's Cade Bacon, a shot. Never made its way through. Goodman with 10 seconds to go on the power play. Pass through the slot, goes through everybody. Connor Brown keeps it alive. Sent on goal into the glove of Roncarati off the stick of Jake Oldham. And he'll hold on for a face off to his left with two seconds to go in the power play. Keep in mind, this is the second period, the period of the long change as what's seemingly become a common phrase these days. But Connor Lefkoff, realizing that he's going to have somebody behind him in a couple seconds, lines up for this face off in the neutral zone. Oldham off the draw, sends a shot wide. Lefkoff now stepping in, keeps it alive at the blue line. Oldham gets blown up. Lost possession of the puck as well as Gordon Ogden threw a shoulder. Oldham back up on his skates, chasing after this. Ogden goes D to D across for Carnes. Turned over once again in that corner, and then a pass goes through the crease. Nobody home. Zach Justice the other way. Justice and Harwell in the corner. Wojciechowski manages to break it up. Tries flipping it out of the zone, can't get it out. Justice knocked off of his stick. Nice play by Jake Oldham to break it up. Goes all the way back into the Bay State zone with under two to play in the period. Ogden. Pass goes off the stick of Sanderson. Offsides is called as Zach Justice was just a stride away. The faceoff's going to be out in the neutral zone. A buck 47 now to go in the second. Again, a pair of power play goals by Danbury has given them their first lead of the game. James Sanderson, Nick Rogers on the draw. Rogers with the faceoff win. Got it as far as the red line before Frischone picks it up. Sends it into the near side corner. Bacon is there. Reverses for Madsey. Madsey turns the puck over. Dubay manages to pick it up, and he finds Brandon Cope. Two on three into his own. Cope to the outside. Has a lane. Great save, Zach Roncarati. And he holds on. Brandon Cope is certainly no slouch when it comes to finding the back of the net. And he saw some daylight to the glove side of Ron Karate. But Ron Karate with a quick glove hand holds on. Last year with the Danbury Colonials, Brandon Cope put up 31 goals, 68 points overall in 45 games. Took those stats and that earned him a couple tenders at the NAHL level. 70 seconds to go in the period. Here's Harwell, canceled out by Bacon. Behind the net, Madsey. Madsey looking for an option, didn't see one. Harwell, 
Centering attempt knocked away by Dylan Weber. Here's Kyle Madigan, under a minute to go in the period. Madigan trying to stick handle through a pair of defensemen, lost possession of the puck. Weber again, reverses back Madigan. Weber wanted to take the one-timer, Madigan took it away from him, sends it into the corner. Lefkoff keeps it alive at the blue line, knocked off his stick by Justice. Harwell's pass goes far, 33 to go. Deflected by Cummings, Carnes, just as quickly out of his zone. This should be icing against Bay State, and with just enough, puck crosses the goal line. And faceoff will come back down into the Bay State zone with 23.3 to go in the period. More jawing going on between the benches. It's morning. You figured everybody would be a bit mellower, but maybe not. Rogers, Cope, Westendorf up front for Danbury. Ian Skinner on the draw for Bay State. Rogers and Skinner still battling for it. Cope comes up with it. His shot was blocked by Skinner. 15 seconds to go in the period. Here's Frischone. Gets around Cope. Frischone tries going far side. Knocked down by Westendorf. Skinner's pass for Harwell out of his reach. Cope will send it on down. Two and one. And that will do it for the second period of play. So at the end of two... It's Danbury three, Bay State two. We'll take a timeout, and when we come back, John Cosa on the draw, and we're underway. Here's Fogelgren. Turned it over, Madigan a shot, kicked aside by Roncarati. Dylan Weber off his skates. Wojciechowski can't hold the puck at the blue line. Here's Cosa, sent through the slot. Madigan will pick it up. Give it along to Cummings. Chase Cummings winds and fires right into the shin pads of Gordon Ogden. Puck in the corner. Trying to cycle his way towards the front was Cummings. Here's Lefkoff at the point. Give it along for Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski didn't get everything on the shot. It deflects on goal and Roncarati has to reach back with the stick to keep it out. Danbury's done a pretty good job of making life difficult for Zach Roncarati. Here's Dylan Weber, who was robbed in the second period. Lefkoff behind the net, Weber again. Lefkoff a shot, it goes through Roncarati off the post and wide. Ian Skinner will take things out. Skinner, top of the circle, poked off his stick by Wojciechowski. Skinner and Wojciechowski still doing battle. Luke Dubé off the bench. Has his pocket picked by Skinner. Skinner giving himself a little more space. Thought about the shot and said slides it along for Justice. Zach Justice in the corner. Tries cycling back for Easton Hagen who's pinching on the play. Puck squirts out the far side out of the reach of Brandon Cope. Shot goes wide. Here's Troy Harwell, sent in front, great save, Nate Hadley, and he gets the rebound too. The whistle has blown as the puck, or rather the net has come off of its moorings. But a good job by Hadley at six foot two, down in his butterfly, he's tight to the post and prevents that puck from sliding past him. 154 gone by in the third. Faceoff is actually going to come out into the neutral zone as they're going to say it was a Bay State that knocked the net off. James Sanderson disagrees with that assessment, but to no avail. Sanderson then wins the faceoff back for Hagen. Hagen sends it down deep. Warren chasing after it. Westendorf there for Danbury. Reinforcements arrive for both teams. Wrapped around the near side wall, too far for Oldham. Keeping it alive at the blue line was Hagen. Now puck loose in front. Save Hadley. The rebound goes wide. Looking to clear is Connor Brown. Sanderson lost possession of the puck. Oldham's pass too far for Goodman. He'll chase after it. No icing on the play as Carnes gets there first. Off the boards and turned over. Here's Jake Oldham with lots of space. Dropped off for Bacon. Bacon on goal, deflected in front by Westendorf, and Ron Karate got a pad on it. Here's Oldham again, a turnaround shot, another deflection by Westendorf, and again, Ron Karate makes the save. Puck is pinned up against the side 
of the net. And we'll see where the faceoff goes, as I don't think that went off of a Bay State stick. Well, it appears the faceoff will remain in the Bobcats' end. 17-13 remaining in regulation time. Danbury leads it 3-2. Rogers, Harbor, and Bianco up front. Shot from the point. Waffle boarded away. Here's Rogers with it again. Sent down low. Bianco behind the net has Rock and Frashone to deal with. Frashone comes up with the puck. Sends it along the wall and cleared out by Fogelgren. Wojciechowski. At his own blue line, feeds one ahead for Harbor. For Schoen, takes that away. Now Caden Hart, chipping it into the zone, chasing after it himself. Wojciechowski gets there first. Hart then takes it off the stick of Wojciechowski, sends it in front. Hadley had his stick out. He's able to break up the pass, hold on to the puck, and settle in for a face off to his left. Justice Harwell Skinner. On the ice for the Bobcats. Ogden for shown the defenseman. Bay State looking to get back into this game. Gonna make sure they don't drop two in a row to Danbury. Of course, it's always tough when you've got a divisional game, but for these teams, all they will have this season is divisional games, so they're all just as important. Ogden circling in the corner as Cummings is all over him. Passed out far side. Connor Brown tried to get involved now. Two on one developing for Bay State. Backhand pass across. It goes off the skate of Connor Lefkoff and rolls in on goal. Nate Hadley doing a good job keeping those pads flush to the ice. Gets a glove on it and the face off to his left. 4.03 gone by in the third. Forwards will remain the same for Bay State. Rogers, Cope, and Dubé up front for Danbury. Off the draw, one by Rogers. Lefkoff, or check that Mads, he will send it around the boards. Dubé trying to clear. Harwell tied up against the wall. Cade Bacon manages to poke it loose. Goes far side for Cope. Cope quickly flips it through a neutral zone out of the reach of Nick Rogers. Justice. Got hit by a pair of junior hat tricks. Lost possession of the puck. Here's Brandon Cope off the stick of Dubé. At the Bay State blue line, Rogers manages to keep the puck in the zone, but only for a moment. Now coming the other way is Ian Skinner. Skinner drops off Harwell. Harwell spins away from the check of Rogers. Harwell comes up with the puck now in the corner. Justice tried going back for Harwell behind the net, broken up by Madsey. Now Cole Madsey with a moment to think things over. He'll throw it out into the neutral zone. At the red line, that goes off a linesman, so James Sanderson picks it up at the blue line. On goal, swallowed up by Hadley. And another defensive zone faceoff coming up for Danbury. Well, with only four shots on goal in the second period, the Bobcats knew they had to do whatever they could to get more on net. They've done a decent job of it so far, but Nate Hadley has stood strong. Here's Goodman, reversing up the wall. Unable to hold the blue line was Nick Frashone. Long pass off the stick of Westendorf, no icing on the play. Frashone sends around near side for Jake Rukala. Wojciechowski from the point, goes wide. Shown reverses back near side. Wojciechowski again. That rising shot goes over the top of the cage. Bobcats looking to clear. Warren absorbs a hit from Westendorf. Now Westendorf with the puck. Westendorf can't get around Warren. Oldham leaves it for Wojciechowski. Slides over far side. Lefkoff. Lefkoff right onto the stick of Wesley Westendorf. Westendorf takes a hit from Rock. Goodman in support sends it back down deep. Chase Cummings. Further along into the corner, Wojciechowski pinching in. Takes a hit for his troubles from Rukala. Jake Rukala started the scoring for Bay State. Now up ahead, here is Drew Goodman. Goodman in, great save by Zach Roncarati. 
as he came aggressively out of his crease to cut down the angle. Not much for Goodman to shoot at, and he found Roncarati's glove. But getting back to Rukala, he scored the first goal in the game uh, of the game, and then towards the end of the first period, took a shot up high. Needed some repairs from the training staff here at Danbury Arena. Loose puck. Once again, Ron Karate gets a glove on it, and then from his belly manages to give a whack to the ankles of Chase Cummings. Not sure if Cummings was really expecting that, as he was already well away from the crease. Cummings, Weber, Madigan up front, Madsey and Brown on the points for Danbury. John Cosa will step in for this faceoff for Bay State. He's got Caden Hart and Javon Fogelgren up front with him. Off the draw. He'll be controlled by the Bobcats. Here's Fogelgren. Pass too far for Hart. Madigan couldn't get the puck deep. Now Dylan Weber for Madigan. Madigan from the neutral zone on goal. Roncarati steers it into the corner. Now we told you Kyle Madigan has a pair of goals now from just inside the blue line. Not sure if he thought that would be a three-pointer or not, but either way. Of course, if you want to talk about goals that count for more than one, there is no better example than the uh, than pro beach hockey. If you've never seen pro beach hockey, take a look at some ESPN tapes from the mid-90s. It was played in California. Behind the nets were ramps. And... There was a semicircle, essentially where the blue line would be, and if you scored from behind that, it was worth two. Unfortunately, that league did not last long, but gosh, was it fun to watch while we had it. 12.35 to go in the third. Here's Skinner, circling at his own blue line. Given along for Ogden, who sends it down deep. Wojciechowski reverses for Cade Bacon. Bacon off the glass, past the glove of Dubay. Settled down by Frischone, and his pass too far for Troy Harwell. Wojciechowski. Carnes. Now Harwell again. From the red line, he'll send it down deep. Bacon gets there first for Danbury. Puck goes over his stick. Skinner slaps it back the far side. Just barely holding it alive at the blue line was Carnes. Linesman had actually raised his arm to signify offsides, but then reversed it. Luke Dubay hit by Carnes offsides. Should not result in a penalty. As Dubay tried to sneak behind Carnes, but in doing so, drew himself off. 11.42 to go in the third. 3-2, still your score. Weber, Bianco, Harbor now for Danbury. Clean faceoff win by Sanderson means the Bobcats will control and get the puck out of their own end. Connor Brown from the red line softly flips it in. Weber breaking up the pass intended for Warren. Now Connor Lefkoff under pressure behind his own net. Chips along for Bianco. Weber is able to clear. Can't do it with possession. Now Bianco up ahead. Dylan Harbor has it. Harbor takes a hard hit into the boards as Jake Rucala throwing the body. And a rising shot surprises Roncarati. Thought about letting it go. Madigan gets close and, well, makes sure that the referee blows the whistle. But faceoff's going to be to Zach Roncarati's left. 11.05 to go in regulation time. Bay State with a full sale change. This is the only game right, going on right now in the NA3HL. Lots of hockey coming up later on today. At 1 o'clock, it will be the Northeast Generals visiting the New Jersey Titans in a game that these two teams will be interested in. At 7 o'clock Eastern time, Peoria is at Milwaukee. 715, Texas, the Texas Brahmas, in-state rivals with the Texas Roadrunners. They'll meet in College Station. Roncarati slaps that puck away. 
Cleared out of the zone. Here's Javon Fogelgren. Fogelgren trying to outrace Rosikowski. Fogelgren in, and he had the puck roll off his net. Cole Madsey throwing the body. You hear the whooping coming from the Danbury bench as Caden Hart got the worst of it. At 8.05 Eastern time, Atlanta will visit Oklahoma City. Oregon will visit Rochester. St. Louis Junior Blues will visit the Wausau River Wolves. Roshona shot, saved by Hadley. He'll hold on. At 8.30 tonight, El Paso making their NA3HL debut. Will travel across the state to the Mid-City Junior Stars. The Wilmar Warhawks will host the North Iowa Bulls, the Helena Bighorns, and the Gillette Wild. At nine o'clock Eastern time, the Sheridan Hawks and Butte Cobras will face off at 9.30. And keep in mind, folks, the last time those two teams met, it was a pair of games that Sheridan won 21 to nothing and 18 to one. As Hadley holds on to another loose puck. 21 nothing. They had over 100 shots on goal, did Sheridan, in both of those games. So hopefully reinforcements have arrived for Butte. And then finishing us up out in Cody, Wyoming, the Missoula Junior Bruins will visit the Yellowstone Quake. Back here in Danbury, you figure everybody's going to be asleep by then. Connor Lefkoff. Taken down from behind by Zach Justice. Manages to keep possession of the puck. Now here comes Brandon Cope to the outside. Has Westendorf with him. Given across to Westendorf. He scores! Wesley Westendorf! 4-2 Danbury! For Westendorf, it's his second goal of the season. The Bay State bench wants an explanation as that puck went off the skates of Westendorf and in. But Westendorf with no kicking motion. That goal will stand. And Danbury has extended their lead. It's four to two. Zach Roncarati off the screen to your right. Not happy whatsoever with the ruling. But Westendorf did not kick the puck. Now here comes Kyle Madigan looking for more. A backhand shot just goes wide. Boy, Madigan getting some speed and power on that shot. Really from nowhere. Zach Parise in the NHL known for that backhand. And Madigan with a decent job trying to emulate that. Here's now Madigan reaching for it in the corner. He takes out Carnes. Another hit. In the corner. Meanwhile, Puck is back at the blue line. Here's Chase Cummings. A centering a feed. Sanderson flexes it away. Dylan Weber picks it up behind the net. Weber gets around one. Carnes back up to his feet. Cummings gives along Madigan. Madigan looking for the perfect shot. Now Weber in front. Ron Karate pokes it away. Bay State's able to clear. Trying to fight through the defense of Madsey is Damon Warren. Madsey manages to kick that puck away. Nice job by Cole Madsey. Now Warren again, a shot into the glove of Hadley. He holds on. And we'll have another draw in D Danbury zone. 8.21 to go in the third. Junior Hattricks up 4-2. to two. The last game these two teams played back on October 24th, Danbury won 4-2. to two. And the Bobcats look to try and tie this up and avoid a three-game losing streak. Here's Javon Fogelgren. Tripped up by Oldham. Play continues. Fogelgren again. This time can't get around Wojciechowski. Kosa and Wojciechowski along with Fogelgren come together along the wall. Wojciechowski is the one who comes up with it. Wojciechowski caught from behind by Caden Hart. Lost possession of the puck. Cleared down into the Bay State zone by Jake Oldham. Eight to go in regulation time. Off the glass. Oldham manages to knock that down. Loose puck, Caden Hart will pick it up, one on three. Can't get into the Danbury zone as he stood up by Westendorf. Wesley Westendorf, still with Caden Hart draped on him like a cape. 
Lefkoff will give it a go. Quickly knocked off of his stick. Wojciechowski separates Hart from the puck. Everybody getting a bit physical. Now Connor Lefkoff from behind his own net. Has his pocket picked by Ian Skinner. Harwell there to pick it up. Harwell a shot into the bread basket of Nate Hadley who holds on. Harwell kind of rushing the shot there. The kid's certainly talented enough. Didn't need to take the shot from where he did. But it does result in an offensive zone faceoff. It'll be Harwell on the draw. Skinner and Justice flanking him. Krishone and Carnes on the points. Luke Dubé will step in for the draw after Cope gets kicked out and Dubé with a clean win. Madsy sees his bounce off that Zamboni corner once again. Cope, puck goes through his skates. Justice will pitch fork it back into the corner. Clearing out the slot was Luke Dubé, and now Brandon Cope goes far side for Bianco. Carnes will get there first. Along the wall, he finds Harwell. Now Skinner. Skinner a shot, missed high and wide. And then that deflects off the glass, out of play. 6.46 to go in the third. Faceoff will come out into the neutral zone. Madigan, Rogers, and Harbor up front for Danbury. Dylan Harbor has played both wings today. He's a right-handed shot. We've seen him on um, left wing plenty of times. This is his first shift on the right. Warren and Rogers in front of the Bay State bench. Warren comes up with it. D to D they go. Now for Schoen off the heel of the stick of Warren. Wojciechowski. Bounces one along for Rogers. Rogers for Madigan. Madigan from the neutral zone will send it into the Bay State end. Didn't get much farther than the top of the circles. Here's Sanderson. Sending it back down. 6-10 to go in the third. Connor Lefkoff. Dylan Harbor. And now Nick Rogers. Rogers fans on the pass. Bay State will collect at their own blue line. Sent into the Danbury zone, chasing after his Jake Rucala. Rucala, one-timer shot, went wide. Vogelgren now, run into by Rogers. Connor Brown picks up the puck and gives along for Kyle Madigan. Madigan at the blue line, a wrist shot into the glove of Roncarati, and he leaves it for Gordon Ogden. Ogden off the boards. Hunted down by Oldham. Ogden then manages to regain possession. Now in the far corner, leaves it for Fogelgren. Under five and a half to go. Here's Fogelgren. Pass back Ogden at the near point. Down low, Hart. Caden Hart in front, saved by Hadley, and he holds on. Well, Javon Fogelgren suddenly came out of nowhere. And Hart put it right on Fogelgren's tape. Trying to go upstairs over the glove of Hadley. A nice job by Hadley being just aggressive enough to cut off the angle. Kosa with a clean face off win. Carnes. Vogelgren was knocked down on the play. Seems a little shaken, but he'll stay out. Goodman in the neutral zone. Comes up with the puck. Gets around Carnes. Drew Goodman on goal. Ron Karate makes the save. Drew Goodman scored his first goal at the NA3 level against these Bay State Bobcats back on October the 24th. Not sure if he knows how the puck went in as he was basically at the goal line in the far corner. Almost where you see the linesman on your at the top of your screen right now. He just threw it on goal and somehow it managed to sneak through the five hole of Nate Moffitt, Bay State starting goalie in that game. Now a shot right off the faceoff, kicked aside by Ron Karate. Here's Brandon Cope sending it down deep. Under five to play in the third. Danbury with a two goal lead. Dylan Weber in the corner. Goes back to Wojciechowski at the point. D to D Bacon. Bacon shot blocked by Justice. 
And then Justice sends it off the glass off the bottom of section 201. And faceoff will remain in the Bay State zone. Four and a half to go in the third. Weber on the draw against Ian Skinner. Face off one by Skinner, cleared out. Madsy will chase after this, getting on his horse's justice. Lefkoff, under some pressure, deftly gives it along for Brandon Cope. Cope, top of the circle, a rising shot, pawed by Roncarati. Face off will again be in the Bay State zone with 4.13 to go. As this game is starting to get out of reach for the Bobcats. Bobcats head coach Anthony Langevin still has his timeout to use if he wants. Off the draw, it's Madigan and Skinner. Skinner will come up with the puck, leaving it for Ogden. Puck goes <laughs> off the back of Zach Justice. He didn't know where it was. Now Justice, nice move to get around Lefkoff. Two on one. Justice in off the side of the net. Had Troy Harwell with him. Bouncing over the stick of Easton Hagen. Kyle Madigan comes up with the puck. Madigan across for Harbor. It's sent in front just out of the reach of Giuseppe Bianco. Talk about two players who would love to find the back of the net. Harbor, this is only his third game of the season. He's got a pair of helpers so far. For Bianco, it's his third game, and he's still looking for his first point of the year. Turned over, Westendorf picks it up. Westendorf had the option in old, or check that, in Goodman. Goodman now goes down into the corner, tries to pick the puck out. 3.05 to go in regulation time. It's Troy Harwell, canceled out by Westendorf. Harwell again will try the far side. Easton Hagen, now Harwell. Poked along further, Sanderson. James Sanderson, top of the circle. Trying to tee up a shot, getting in the way of that was six foot five, Cade Bacon. Long pass, too far for everybody. Oldham tries going off for a change, but no icing on the play. Not sure why there wasn't an icing call. Wojciechowski will keep the puck in the Bay State end with under two and a half to play. Everybody just kind of stopped skating there, anticipating the whistle. Wojciechowski beats Sanderson to the puck and he gives it along for Brandon Cope. Cope avoids a check, leaving it for Dubé. Rogers spins away from the pressure of Zach Justice, or check that, Warren. Now Rogers through the neutral zone to the outside. Rogers hits the post with the shot. Oh, he beat Ron Karate to the glove side, but stymied by the iron. Rogers sends it down once again. Lefkoff can't hold the blue line. A hundred seconds to go in this one. Cope flipping it softly once again. Roncarati one hands it into the corner. Warren simply slaps it off the boards, goes all the way down the ice. Icing is called. And now with a minute and a half to go in regulation time, Bay State down by two. Let's see if they use their timeout with this opportunity as they will be unable to change. Damon Warren at the end of his shift at the end of his shift just wanted to get the puck out of the zone, but really puts his team behind the eight ball here. Clean faceoff win by John Cosa. Carnes now for Schoen. Pass too far for Hart. Madsey will get there first. Under 80 seconds. Left cough. Easy play for Madigan. Madigan will. Fake the shot, now going towards the front of the net. Never actually got one on goal. Madigan again, tried going back to Madzi. Left cough, picks up the loose puck, sends it back down deep. One minute remaining. We'll keep our eyes on Zach Roncarati and if he gets called to the bench in favor of the extra attacker. Madzi, off the skates of Cummings. Chase Cummings now able to pick it up on the second opportunity. Dylan Weber into the Bay State zone. 40 seconds to go, and we have not seen Roncarati even leave the crease yet. 
makes the save, leaves the puck for Easton Hagen. Hagen sends it off the boards, no icing on this play. Chasing after it is Justice, but getting there first is Connor Lefkoff. 25 seconds to go, and Ron is going to stay in goal for Bay State. Goodman off the boards. Hagen sends it back into the Danbury end. Cole Madzi can't be controlled by Bianco. 10 seconds remaining. Madzi D to D across for Connor Lefkoff. Lefkoff sends one down the ice and then hit out of nowhere is Bianco. And that's how this game will end. That's a dirty play. A very dirty play. Giuseppe Bianco cannot get to his feet. It was Zach Justice, I believe, who threw the hit. And I imagine that's something that the league will take a long, hard look at as Bianco never even made contact with the puck before he was hit. Well, a sad ending to this game as there's now some jawing going on between the two benches. The Bobcats can simply go to their locker room and that seems like what they'll do, but Giuseppe Bianco still injured at center ice. He is now sat up by the trainer. Well, a sad end to this game as it was a pretty entertaining hockey game. For 59 minutes and 40 seconds, but uh, that's a bad ending to this one as the Bobcats still are slow to leave their bench. The Danbury Junior Hattrick staying on the ice to salute their fans who came out to watch them this morning. We're seemingly not done yet. More jawing between the two teams. Danbury now being instructed to simply head to the locker room. Brandon Cope with a couple stick taps for the friends and family who came on out. We'll keep our eyes on the official score sheet and find out exactly what penalty gets handed out against Bay State. Again, I believe it was Justice with that blindside hit. And you know, that that's going to end up being the, o the only penalty in the third period. Pretty clean for the third period until that ending, but Wesley Westendorf finds the back of the net in the third. That's the insurance marker. Kyle Madigan's power play goal at 10.50 of the second period will stand as the game winner.